Hello out there, YouTube. It's me, Dave, from Dave Station VR, and I'm back in this new year to review some Mantis headphones for PSVR. They're pretty cool. Let's get into it. All right, so these are the headphones right here in the box. Pop it open. Got a little window inside. And uh, these aren't going to be as clean as they were packaged when I first opened it, because I've already opened this before, but here's the little unboxing process. Yeah. These guys in here, not a whole lot besides just the headphones and the box. So you pop them out. But how are you supposed to assemble the damn thing? All right, so you're going to take your PSVR headset, and you're going to go over to this little bit on the side right here, and uh, start with your left one. They're marked left and right. I don't know if you can see that. And you pretty much just clamp it on the side here and pull down until you hear it latch on. And then you can pop it out and also uh, kind of adjust it up and down like I was showing you and spin these little earbuds a little bit. So that's the first one. Go ahead and get the second one on. It's uh, really simple to take these on and off, but they're pretty sturdy once they're on there. All right, so this is what it looks like basically. Uh, you've got your little floaties on the side here, and it matches really well with the design of the headset, I think. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about how I actually feel about these headphones. Um, overall, the sound quality was pretty impressive. Uh, the bass could be a little bit more boom, boomy, you know, but uh, it does pretty well for what it is for a $50 pair of headphones uh, that fits so ergonomically on the side. It's a, I would say it's a great little pair of headphones to pick up. But there are a few downsides to these headphones. Now, at first, it's really weird to get used to the way that they sit on your ears because they don't go around your ears and they don't go inside your ears. They just kind of hang over your ears and it takes a while to get them just right. And the other thing is about after like 40 minutes or so, they start to hurt. Your ears are just kind of like aching. And that doesn't happen to me with other headphones. So, uh, eh, you know, your mileage may vary there. Maybe not good for long sessions. All right, so if I had to give these things a score out of 10, I think I'd land somewhere around a 7.5. Um, maybe an 8. They're pretty good. They sound decent. The bass isn't great, like I said, but they're not really tinny, so that's good. And, um, like I said, they just get kind of uncomfortable after a while. And, uh, for something that fits so well on the headset, you'd hope that it would also be comfortable on your ears. And, uh, that's not always the case. But overall, I would say for 50 bucks, probably a good thing to get if you got a PSVR headset and, uh, you're not satisfied with your current headphones. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the like or subscribe. As always, I would appreciate it so much. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, guys. Almost 2,000. I know that's kind of small fry on YouTube, but I'm excited. Shit. All right, so uh, thanks again. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll uh, see you later. Action. <laughs>